Hi everybody, hello Susan. It's Nicholas King and Mike Renzi, and we are so happy to be with you this fine, fine day. In springtime, it feels so nice to be together and have some positivity in the air. And in fact, all that positivity makes me want to sing. Yes, I can, suddenly, yes, I can. Gee, I'm afraid to go on his turn to do, yes, I can. Take a look, what do you see? A hundred and something pounds of confidence, me. Are you ready? I can do anything, yes, I can. Something that sings in my blood is telling me, yes, I can. I have just found the key, hey, door swing wide for me, yes, I can. I just ain't sure it's turn to do Yes, I can Wind me up and watch me fly A regular sort of shorter Superman I Got the feeling I can climb Everest Yes, I can I can perform here all day and never rest Yes, I can I have just found the key Hey, door, sweet one for me Yes, I can And I'm ready, I Somewhere invite me to come there and learn And I'm ready, I can hear it Sirens singing Inside my head I hear them all singing Come learn Who knows, maybe All the visions that I see Maybe waiting just for me to say Take me there and learn I know that it really can be Bad times are all past Not at long last I can't see, oh, I can't see Oh, I can't do anything, wait and see As long as I know I have you to count upon I'm home free I have just found the key And the sweet one for me I was just born today I can't Yes, I can, and yes, we can. This is Mike Renzi, my dear, dear friend and musical director for a long time. Uh, we've been working together since, uh, well, yeah, a long time. I can't do a math. I can't do math anymore. Um, but we are so excited to be with all of you today. Thank you so much, Susan, for asking us. We had a ball with you a couple years ago. Actually, I had a ball. Mike wasn't with me. We couldn't get Mike because he was a little busy when you, when I was there the last time. He was on the road with two up-and-comers that oh. we're really hoping they'll, their career will strike good one day. Lady Gaga and Tony Bennett. Yes, they did well. They did well. They, they did a decent job. <laughs> they did well. But Mike was on tour with them at the time, so I, did, I wasn't able to have him. But we are, I'm so thrilled that he's with me today that we could put on a nice show for you. This show tonight for you, ladies and gentlemen, is called Hindsight is 2020. And we put the show together a couple of months ago. We debuted it down in Florida. And the whole show is basically a, a look back at the last year that we've all survived through. And we don't discuss the events. We don't discuss what happened. We all know it. We all lived it. We don't even need to go there. But what we're, we're always more interested in is how did people react when we went through all the changes that we were forced to make? You know, no one asked us permission. Everything just, the world just changed and we had to just adapt. And I don't know about all of you, but for me, uh, the first couple of months was like, a snow day. Like you guys, we know, you. we have snow. You remember snow days when we were, when we were little? <laughs> when we would stay home from school, like you're in your pajamas all the time and you can watch movies and you're baking and you're doing all sorts of fun stuff. You know, and then the summer hit and we went, okay, can we go back to life now? <laughs> but for those first couple of months, I felt like a total kid again. <clears throat> and actually, I kind of echoed these words that I heard once from a little boy named Peter Pan who said, I won't grow up. I don't want to go to school just to learn to be a puppet and recite some silly rule. 
As if growing up means I must prepare To shoulder burdens with the worry air I'll never grow up, never grow up, never gonna grow up So there, no, never gonna get me down It won't, I'd like to see somebody try And make me anyone who wants to try And make me into a grumpy man Catch me if you can, I won't grow I don't want to wear a tie or a serious expression in the middle of July. Cause if growing up means that it would be beneath my dignity to climb that tree, I'll never grow up, never grow up, never gonna grow up. Not me, not I. You'll see, because I've got no strings to hold me down, to make me fret or make me frown. I had strings, but now I'm free. There are no strings on me. I've got no strings, and I'm so glad. No strings at all to make me sad. How I love my liberty. There are no strings on me. Hi-ho, the mega rigio. I'm as happy as can be. You see, I'm a man that want this world to know. Nothing ever worries me. I've got no strings and I have fun. Oh, yeah. I'm not tied down to anyone. How I love my liberty. There are no strings on me. Now tell me. Why does the sweet little hummingbird sing? What puts the zing in a butterfly's wing? What's the reason for the smile on a true fedora? Tell me why does the breeze have a barrel of fun? Even the bee who's a son of a gun? It's all because they're free and stringless the same as me. Oh, Don't make me frown I had strings but now I'm free There are no strings on me I, oh, away we go I'm as happy as can be You see, I'm a young I want this world to know Nothing ever worries me No, I won't grow up I'm enjoying quarantine If you know just what I mean I'd never even frown a day Someone tries to make me, I'll just run away I'll never grow up Never gonna grow up Cause there ain't ever, never No strings on strings attached. <laughs> That's how we felt. Didn't you feel that way? Yes. <laughs> it felt like all of our obligations were just out the window and it felt kind of nice to have free time. And uh, as you saw in that little clip that Susan played for you, I haven't had free time since I was about three. So <laughs> for those first couple of months, I really enjoyed it. And uh, you know, we're, we're not going to get heavy today. We're only going to focus on the positive things because you know, we all faced challenges last year. Some of us lost some loved ones. Some of us were withheld from our loved ones because mm. of, of certain, you know, mandates and rules. We couldn't maybe distance in states and travel and we couldn't be with the ones that we loved. And I know a lot of, you know, myself speaking, it was very difficult to not be with certain ones that we wanted to be with. Uh, but we all had to find a way to adapt and we all had to find a way to change, you know. And also had to find something to look at positively, you know, find a way to wake up in the morning and a reason to put pants on, you know what I'm saying? And uh, I actually, at the, sort of at the spring of last year, I got a little, you know, I wanted to do something interesting. So I took a piece of paper and at the end of every week, I wrote down something really great that happened to me. And I put it in a little box and I threw the box, so I called it my box of blessings. And I put it away. And at the end of the year, I opened up the box and I read back everything that I did. And it could have been anything like, went on a road trip, 
uh, caught up with an old friend I hadn't talked to in a while, learned how to work Zoom, <laughs> you know, uh, d did this, did that, you know, little things, went on a hike, you know, whatever my little highlights were of the week. And I was just amazed at all the beautiful and positive things that I was able to accomplish. I, we think about 2020 as being the year that took away a lot from us, but I was reminded because of that little box of all the things that the year gave to me. And I'm very grateful. And I heard it put into a wonderful song by James Taylor. And uh, yeah, this is beautiful. This is exactly how I feel about it. This is what I learned after opening up my box of blessings. I learned the secret of life is enjoying the passage of time. Judging by the smile on your face, planet 
planets spinning all through space. We say welcome to the human race. Come feel the joy. Feel the joy. Morning's a melody. The secret of life can be. Morning's a melody. Spread a little joy with me. Now the secret of life is enjoying the passage of time. Is it ever? <laughs> yeah, Mike. Yeah. Isn't that a beautiful little medley? The first song, of course, Secret of Life by James Taylor. And the second song was written by a friend of ours called Jerry Nywood, a fabulous uh, horn player who wrote that. Uh, Lena Horn recorded it, actually, and that's where I learned the song because Mike was on the ra on that record with Lena. He did mm -hmm. many records with Lena, but that one in particular was one that, uh, that I loved. Because, folks, it is true, in times of... Uh, well, I've never lived through a pandemic before. Maybe some of you <laughs> have. But... Uh, in times of great distress, you know, comes great possibilities. And with change, and things are changing, do, do you feel it? I feel it. I feel it in the air. I feel this, this tangible joy that everyone's sort of feeling now, this, this opportunity to smile again and to sort of breathe a little freer. And um, in a year that saw more attacks on racism, violent attacks on humanity and in this era of social media and fake news we've lived through a lot and we have to be very careful with the change that we have now with the things at our disposal that the words that we choose to use are chosen wisely because the words that we use not only affect us and our neighbors and our friends and our families but they specifically affect our children our children see everything that we post, they hear everything that we say, and in, in the age of tweets, it can be quite scary. So each and every one of us have that responsibility to choose our words wisely. How do you say to your child in the night, nothing's all black, but then nothing's all white. How can you say it'll all be all right when you know that it mightn't be true. What do you do? Careful the things you say, children will listen. Careful the things you do, children will see. Children will look to you for which way to turn, to learn what to be. Careful before you say, listen to me. Children will listen. Careful the wish you make, wishes our children. Careful the path they take, wishes come true, not free. Oh, careful the spell you cast, not just on children. Sometimes the spell may last past what you can see and turn against you. how slight won't be misunderstood what do you leave to your child when you're dead only whatever you put in its head things that your mother and father once said which were left to them too careful what you do <laughs> 
Gorgeous song from Stephen Sondheim, ladies and gentlemen, from his wonderful show Into the Woods, and uh, I love that show. We love Stephen Sondheim, and I thought he put it he put it quite well. Well, I think that's sort of what all of us have been looking for during this uh, this as my fr as my friend Norm Lewis calls it his, the pandemic, <laughs> a <laughs> pandemic, and that's what we're all in this yes, pandemic. Indeed. And we all are looking for a sort of a philosophy, you know, to sort of help us get through the end of the day. And I found a wonderful philosophy that was sitting in front of my nose the whole time. It's a song that I've done with, with, with Mike many, many times. A song that Mike arranged with uh, another gentleman that he worked with for many years named Mel Torme, mm. who I'm absolutely nuts about. And uh, they put this arrangement together of this song uh, that comes from a Fred and Ginger movie, Fred Astaire, Ginger Rogers movie, from 1936 called Swing Time. Now, I love the message behind this song because that's what we all have to do, right? Uh, is find a message. See, Fred is a down-on-his-luck gambler, right? He's lost all his money, and he finds this cute girl, played by Ginger Rogers, who's a dance instructor. Perfect. See, here's what he's going to do to get good with her, right? He's going to enroll in dance lessons. He's going to dance terribly. She's going to take pity on him, take him on as a private pupil, and then he'll dance his way into her heart, and they'll live happily ever after. Right? Wrong. She wants nothing to do with it. So he shows her how terribly he can dance. He fakes it, and he's sitting on the ground. He looks up at her, and he says, Hey, teacher, teach me something. Nice teacher, teach me something. I'm as awkward as a camel. And that's not the worst, you see. My two feet haven't met yet, so I'll be teacher's pet yet, cause I'm gonna learn to dance her birth. So Ginger sings, nothing's impossible, I have found, for when my chin is on the ground, I pick myself up, dust myself off, start all over again. But oh, but oh, but oh, but oh, lose your confidence if you slip, be grateful for a pleasant trip, and then take a deep breath, dust yourself off, start all over again. Work like soul inspired till the battle of the day is won. You may be sick and tired, but you'll be a man, my son. Will you remember the famous man who had to fall to rise again? Just take a deep breath, pick yourself up. Take a deep breath, pick yourself up, and start all over again. So Fred sings, I'll get some self-assurance if your endurance is great. I will learn in easy stages if you're courageous and wait. To get the strength I want to, I must hold on to your hand. Maybe by the time I'm 50, I'll get up and do a nifty. Nifty Mike Ramsey at the piano, folks. As Mel Torme said, nobody better. Take a listen. That sounds suspiciously like Johann Sebastian Bach. How I love Johann Sebastian Bach. Johann Sebastian Bach. Johann Sebastian Bach. My best follower of J.S. Bach. Shabado, 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 one more 
time for J.S. Bond. Torme scat solo and Mike encouraged me to learn it one time and I did and that's been in our show ever since <laughs> anyway folks pick yourself up that is that's one of the mottos folks that, that we've had and um we we've all survived we've survived and thrived as I like to say and, uh one of the things that has helped me to thrive has been my friends and even though we are not together in person a lot of the times we do it over zoom now or through things uh it is nice to know that that we've got each other's backs. And even though we can't always see each other, we're there, right? Like, what do they say? Friends are like stars. Even though you don't always see them, you know that they're there. So, from that point of view, we'd like to leave you with this note, something that's helped me get through it, and I hope that I've become your new friend, folks.
hurt you and they'll take your soul if you let them but don't you let them don't you don't you let them just call out my name on here sing from out there and you know wherever i am i come running i can't hear you susan come on let me hear you to see you again and again and again appreciate your support of the live arts please continue to do so and we hope that next year or sooner than later we'll be able to perform for you in person in person thank you susan for your support thank you all of you you wonderful patrons and fabulous people for supporting this beautiful festival continue to stay healthy stay smart stay kind stay loving and stay healthy most importantly folks and we'll see you guys soon thank you